Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Sir Dinger and welcome back to Castle Story. I apologize for the hiatus. If that's even how you say that word. Do I know? No. But what I'm going to do is uh, I'm just going to continue with what I was doing. Uh, I'm going to actually go through the YouTube comments and see what I've gotten recently. And uh, I'll just be a second. Let me have a look. See, shall we? Um... Nope, no new comments on that video. I can't remember because it's been... I decided to take a break if you weren't aware. And I actually got... I felt a lot better, a lot quicker than I expected. So, that's why I'm doing this. Um, nope, I already read that one. I've got a pretty interesting comment I think uh, all of you will find pretty cool, to be quite frank. Uh... Is this it? I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Help me. To be fair, I'm going to uni in 25 days. I'm kind of panicking a little bit because I've currently got uh, two USB sticks, three SD cards, one of which is an SD card adapter for a micro SD. Um, oh my god, I didn't realize how many views that episode had gotten. 332 views. Thank you very much for your support. Um, here's the cool thing. The official Sauropod Studio, in other words, the people that make this game that you're seeing in front of you, commented saying thank you for sharing. That's awesome. It's really bloody cool. Um, I'm not sure if I've said this before, but uh, Jacob Wasserm- Jacob- I'm gonna butcher this name. Jacob Wasserman? I'm hoping, I'm hoping that it's not Vasiman or something. Uh, how are you such a legend at building? Subbed. Yay! I spent over 100 hours in this game, that's how I know how to build things. Uh, not very well, obviously, because people have had to give me tips for me to actually know what the hell I'm doing. But, uh, thank you anyways. Uh, very cool videos, love castle story, but unfortunately not many people make videos on it. I like the way you build your castles, the only thing is that you should put less things in tiny spaces. It would allow your brickdons to walk around easier and build way faster. Keep on the good work. Uh, please, oh yeah, I've, I've already read some of these. Uh, Underfell Sands, so in other words, the Undertale uh, fandom has entered my, um, my comment section. Sends a cat face. Now that's all the scent. Just a cat face. So I responded with a cat face. Um, right, here's the most recent one. Uh, Jessica Cassiano, hope, um, she said, alright, this is confusing, because, um, yeah, there's just, uh, right, uh, Jessica Cassiano said, I hope you do more. Um, and I said, I shall be doing, because I shall be. Uh, Leslie Cassiano, which I can only assume is her sister, and I believe it is. Uh, basically said, question mark, 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 embarrassed face, embarrassed face, embarrassed face, embarrassed face, embarrassed face, uh, oh, my sister, um, then Jessica Chiasiano, yay, more, uh, Scribbleyard, I'm trying to think of Bouliard, yeah, I think it's Scribbleyard, I don't know how to pronounce your name, um, I would be more interested in watching you build something in Invasion or Conquest mode in the future. Sandbox is cool, but t the the waves of corrupt drums from time to time make the video more entertaining. You can stick to easy mode, so you have enough time to build in st interesting structures, pretty much as you do on it on that map. But that's just my opinion as a viewer. Do whatever you want, doing what your audience wants you to do, instead of what you want, is the best way to disappoint everybody. So that's that's it for the comments for now. Um. I dropped my phone. I'm a twat. Right, back to actually building things. So, in regards to the last comment, I have had someone I believe is a viewer, um, basically say, "Hey, uh, we, I, I play Castle Story. We could, um, we could do a collab. I wouldn't have a problem with doing a collab. In fact, we'll probably do one later in the future once this series is finished." Um. In fact, depending on how many people you can actually have in invasion mode, I might have a few. I might have a few friends on this at any given time, so I might end up with four people on this. Or four player conquest. That'd be pretty fun. And then, uh, 
and then I'll play. I, d I don't know. I'll see. Like I, I think I'd like to do co-op invasion with someone. I'd also like to do uh, like a massive conquest game. The only problem is, is like in order to stream, which I'd love to do. Uh, one of the main things you need to do is uh, be competent and have a decent internet connection. First off, the internet connection here is fairly, like fairly, and by fairly, I mean very lacking. Um, and second, uh, I'm going to be going to uni where over like 600 people. No, I'm not going to all use the same Wi-Fi. I'm presuming everyone will get like their own kind of little Wi-Fi hub for that whole of residence. Um, but yeah, needless to say, the uh, Wi-Fi signal is not going to be incredibly strong. I'll uh, I'll still try and upload videos as much as I can per day. Um, and since I'm in uni, I should have a lot more free time. Uh, hopefully. So, let's hope that goes well. And, yeah, here comes the first wave. Um, please tell me that's stayed the same shape. Yes, it has. Hang on. What I don't understand about this entire situation is they're all supposed to be going down there, so why don't they just transfer the bags up? Right, let's see how this goes. No, oh, there's a lot of stuff coming. Oh yeah, I actually tried. Also, I find that quite funny. I don't know if I noticed that last time, but uh, there is in fact two characters called Lario and Luigi. Uh, hmm, I wonder where they could be from. Um, I did try to change Bugea's name. I don't, I don't know if that's, how, if that's how you pronounce it. I'm going off the way I know French pronunciation. Uh, but Bugea, um I tried to change his name to Dinger just to see if it would work and it unfortunately didn't. Although thank you to the Castle Story uh, devs for actually telling me how I could mod that. Because um, I think it would be quite cool if uh, like, I added everyone who's commented name, like, everyone's name, everyone who's commented their names into the, uh, in the game. It would be quite cool. But yes, you are making my dreams come true. Um, I'm hoping throughout the course of uni, perhaps we'll get a, a even bigger group of people interested in my channel. Hit them. Nice job. You're gonna have to run pretty soon. Go, you fool, go! Before you get punched in the face. That rock just missed. Well, Kuta and uh, Bugea, let's switch places. Still got six men intact, very right, good. Uh, come back with the crystal for healing. Uh, we'll get another warrior, as that's going to be fairly important. Goomba. We've got a guy called Goomba. Goomba, Loompa, Dooba Dee Doo. It just, it just sounds like you just go, motherfucker. Right, wh where is, um,. That is my workforce. Why are they not building? They're taking a while. They are taking a while to build. Are they? Are you, are they're getting materials from down here. In a rather bizarre twist to events. Um, I wonder what they're gonna. Like, I, I'm actually really looking forward to seeing this built, just because it's gonna look a bit blocky, and I'd like to have made it something else. Like, that's kind of what I want to do in like the conquest series like i thought it'd be really cool if in uh the conquest series like so like would be versing each other obviously i thought it'd be really interesting to um to essentially give everyone like an hour to kind of set up everything they need to uh design what they want to build and then like throughout that hour they've got to defend themselves because I, I like I'm thinking of making my own map for that situation because I think it would be quite interesting. 
just because I like the I, I like the concept of like a game where you have to build your like Castle Story. I feel like if it had a bigger following, it could be like one of those ridiculously competitive games. Like uh, you have to actually like rather than just uh, having pre-built parts which you put down, you have to actually build your base. You have to build a stand for there to be a like tower on it just it seems like such a cool concept and I really want to play it in fact here's something I would like to quite play it with uh, the castle story devs at some point on a stream uh, but the problem is every time I get around to kind of it's like oh the castle devs streams on and they'll always be doing something for like two hours and it'll be when I'm either about to go to bed or about to go to work and it's like ah. Oh, well, hopefully one of these days I can catch up uh, and we can play some some good old conquest that I've never played before and I think I barely get the grass ball. Just so long as I can be green team, because green is me. I do think the green could be a bit brighter though, because it's sort of indistinguishable from the background. Can you imagine how much chaos a player castle story would be? I've only just thought of that. That would be insane. That would be like eight people building. I want to build a skyscraper. I really, I just, I don't know why. I just felt like it. I just, I want to build, I want to build a skyscraper. Because it would just be cool to see. <coughs> you know, like, the, the, like the most bizarre thing is, if I were to build a castle, a, a, a castle, yes, yeah, a castle. Well, funny, funny you do that in a uh, castle story. Um, it's just what I found cool is just the idea that, oh wait, if you could actually, uh, hang on, oh yeah, I forgot about that, duplicate, move, split, delete, expand, and backspace, okay. But, um, yeah, it just be, uh, I want to build a skyscraper just because it's, Essentially, you have to build the entire thing yourself, including like scaffolding and things like that. It's like inter it's interesting. I mean, obviously, you're not doing it yourself. You're making blueprints, and these guys are doing it. So essentially, you're like a uh, an architect. There we go. You're an architect in this game. Yes. Toa, you take those planks. Jokey, you take those planks. Question is, where are you gonna put those planks? I will say they must have some ridiculous leg strength, because I don't think I could jump up something like that with three planks of wood on my back, especially when they're like the same size as you, and you only actually have a hold of one of them, and somehow the other two are connected. But we're not gonna question that. Suppose I'll cut to the next wave. Alright, um, I'm quickly just putting these uh, tunnels down so that we can uh, just sort of have them there ready for what we need them for. Basically, it just tunnel straight through here because I'm thinking, uh, just have a flat surface. And, uh, I don't know. I'm uh, yeah, you get what I mean. Anyways, I was actually mentioning this uh, just before, um, when I said I was gonna cut. Uh, it would be interesting to see if uh, they add like a true sandbox mode whereby you don't actually need brick trons at all, um, and like you can just spawn anything. So like for example, you could have a, uh, I don't know, maybe. It's an unlimited spawning stockpile. I'm not sure if debug mode's still able to be activated, but um and just so like you can mess around with castle designs and such. Cause I would like I, I would really like to. It's just the problem is you get to the point where it's like, ah, oh, I have to make this as as efficient as possible. And I just wanna like I wanna see what's possible. Also It'd be quite interesting to see if we could uh, actually have like some form of support you could build, uh, which a lot, which like if you strengthened um, the ground a little bit, it made it so you were able to build 
actual, like, so you can build stockpiles on wood, for example, because, uh, it gets pretty annoying, the fact that I want to build, like, a multi-story thing, but you can't have any, uh, stone on top of wood or stockpiles on top of wood. So it gets to the point where it's like, all right, I want to have this. You can't have that now. Oh, oh God. I, I pressed, I pressed, I pressed, I pressed Windows key. Hopefully I will have cut that out. In fact, I will have cut that out because I'll be watching this through. Back the f fudge up. We need you alive for this, soldiers. It's two down, one down. Two down. The amount of archers we have. So whoever suggested uh, having more archers, you were a genius. You've saved us this time. God knows how many more waves we're going to survive. So long as we keep getting archers and, some, and stuff to fight, I think we've got enough brick trons to do our bidding right now. My main fear is just archer. It's just uh, getting everything I want built, to be honest. And then, um, what I was thinking is landscaping this area. Also, if you aren't following me on Twitter, I don't really post anything, but, uh, yeah, you can if you want. I'm not particularly all too bothered. I'll have, um... I think that would be quite good. Uh, I'll lower it down a bit just to there. Also, uh, in another note, on, an, on another note even, uh, for my 10th episode, I want to know, would you like me to kind of give you the experience I had with Castle Story? In other words, would you like me to kind of read out, like, um, rather than doing like a live commentary, which is what I'm doing now, like, uh, what if I were to read out like a creepypasta, for example, J just, just for the one episode, or would you prefer me talking because uh yeah i just i wasn't sure if like because i, I want to make this series like because this series has already become very personal to me purely because of the amount of support i've gotten which again is ridiculous and thank you very much um but i just wanted to kind of share with you my experience with the game and like how i used to play it back in the day I'd also like to make a creepy pasta, but the fact is my writing is a uh, nion shite, basically. Uh, I, I, the, the thing, the thing I, like, I like, I come up with stories. Uh, it's just uh, writing them down in like a kind of literary form. It's just a, not a thing. Like, um, I'm trying to think. Like, uh, describing a plot is fine. Like, I can, uh, I can write scripts. That's fine. But once it comes to, like, the beads of sweat were dripping down his face like a warm summer rain. No, I, ca I can't do that. Like, that was an example off the top of my head. I can improvise. Improvise is something I can do. <laughs> and I'm also dying slowly. Um, but aren't we all? Ha, <laughs> ha, I'm sorry. Um. I think we could do with more builders. That's bizarre. I never, I never thought I'd reach that point. But uh, honestly, I think I'm just gonna put a uh, Luke on construction. I swear I didn't. Did, did I put... What happened to Can? Not Kanz, he's now on quarry. Okay. I'll just put Luke on construction. It makes a bit more sense. There's only wood down here, there's no more stone. Hopefully they won't bring stone down here anymore. Because we'll build hopefully quick enough. <coughs> only one more layer and then they finish the stone and then they can just work on the wood. And then they can work on this. And then we can work on just making a staircase, and if we need to, we can build like an archer tower. Or even like a catapult. 
We'll build both. We'll, bu we'll build like we'll, we'll build an archer tower. I feel like that makes a bit more sense. We'll build an archer tower and they can just shoot on them from over there. And then if it turns out they're not actually that effective, then we can just uh make them be make it be a catapult. Because I would like to build a catapult, because uh, I've left it too long. Alright, I'm going to cut this bit out, just so the episode's a bit shorter. Alright, so with one minute left, uh, I just wanted to say, I am, we like, not I am, we are 18 subscribers away from uh, reaching 100 before the one year anniversary, of this, to the two year anniversary of this channel. We are so close. We can do this, I believe. Lobo, why have you got stone? I uh, decided to put all the people who are on the quarry onto construction just for now at least. So uh, we can get this built a bit quicker. So right now the quarry is kind of for stone and we've already got enough stone to do everything we need. I believe. And if we don't, then we can just put someone on. Right, let's go and uh, make sure our warriors are good enough. Um, wait, I was about to say, Wave, can you stop? Oh dear. Oh dear, that is awfully close. That is a lot closer than I would have enjoyed. Also, I'm sorry if I, I, I'm going to be perfectly honest, I don't know if the frame rate drops are actually me or just the animation frames dropping. Oh, they killed one of our own guys. You fools. You archer buggers, what have you done? You've doomed us. We're doomed now. You've killed us all. I don't even know who died. It was Muigi. No, it was Lario. I don't recall. Sacrifice yourselves. Only one of you died. Two of two of you have died. Your sacrifices will not be in vain. Godspeed. Right, this is getting uh are they healing? I feel like I may need to move them closer to the crystal. I wonder if they'll ever add like a healer class who can like um ground buffs and stuff. And like that's the thing when it comes to when it comes to like video games and the like, I feel like I have really great ideas. And I probably I think I've already talked about this, but I feel like I have really great ideas. The only problem is, is I have no programming skill like uh, at all like I mean I know math and by math I mean maths I don't know a singular math um but yeah it's just it's it's rather irritating like there's so many things I'd like to do but I just don't have the skill um why isn't the wood there why did no one put wood there What? Okay, hang on. And great, now we're gonna have to put six planks of wood into just that. Lario is still alive. Apparently. We lost. Let's, let's see, who did we lose? We lost. Lario and Woodbob. We lost Lario and Woodbob. Lario and Woodbob. Woodbob forever in our hearts. R.I.P. in peace. Um, I'll bring you back from the dead. It's fine. Um. Um. Excuse me, sir. Yo. It appears your game is a bit. No. What? Apparently, I have a hundred percent filled bar, and yet I am unable. To get another soldier. 
or a warrior. I'm sorry. I wonder whether they'll ever implement like ramps and cart. Well, I know they've implemented ramps. I'm just curious to see if they imp ever imp implement like carts. It's like mobile stockpiles. So like, for example, you'll build the cart and you can put like four bri four like uh, bricks on it and uh, they'll move the same speed as uh, if they were carrying like a, like if they were just not carrying anything, they'll just run with it and they'll like dump it outside the building area and then build. And then you could have like one person doing stockpile runs to kind of keep everything topped up while the builders are constantly building. That'd be quite cool in my opinion. But then again, oh, what? How, how did? How? Right, that's it, no. Everyone out. Apart from Yupano, who's somehow gotten stuck there. God knows how. Right, Jokey, you're gonna head back in there. Bacha, you're gonna head... You're gonna head back in there. Lobo, you're gonna head back in there. Luke, Luke, you're gonna head back in there. Toa, you're gonna head back in there. Kanzi, you're gonna head back in there. No one... Yeah, sure, go for it. Baldrug, yep. Joe, yep. Because you'll just go straight in. Pano, you're gonna stay in construction because I have a feeling I know what's gonna happen. Because, um, if we get enough people to take off this stockpile, we can actually get Pano out. Uh, just by making sure he can, uh, pick up the last thing and then he can just walk out. Which is what I'm gonna attempt to do. But yeah, I, I would like to quite I would quite like to read out creepypastas on this channel, but the problem is is I don't know if that's something people would want. I've I've always had like a enjoyment of creepypastas, which I'm fairly certain I've mentioned before. But uh yeah, I just like the idea. I, I'm not a, like a professional like person who yeah. reads or anything like that. Yuga. Like, I'm not sat here thinking, oh, I, I can read and people are going to want to listen to my voice. I've got like an ebook man voice. No. I just like reading creepy stories. A lot like listening to creepy stories. It's sort of like an ebook. Except to me, a lot more fascinating. And enjoyable. And we're so close to finishing this building. Hey, Pano's free. All the logs here are gone. Uh, we're deforesting this place very slowly. I mean, we've still got a lot to deforest, but uh, the area we're hiding in is very deforested. I'm going to shut up so I can I cut know. a bit of this episode. Right, less than a minute to go on the next wave, and we'll... Well, they've finished the wall. The question is now, are they going to finish the wood? Probably not. But I mean, we can hope. Um, yeah, no, no, we still got a hundred percent on that. I'll send those out to bore. They're all going out here. They're gonna have to dump the stone back. I mean, actually, they they probably will go up a level. It's kind of the only thing. Oh God, look at the amount of. All right, wonderful. There is still wood in here, isn't there? No? What about in here? No, there's no wood. Oh, Christ. They can't finish the wood. Oh, dear. Right. Oh, that's... Why is wave 33 far easier than the last one? Right, well, wave 33, here we go. 
question, the real question on everyone's mind, I can tell, is are we going to make it to wave 100? The answer to that is most likely not. But that doesn't stop me from hoping and dreaming. Right, once you've put that piece of stone there, you can focus on cutting down logs up here. And then, where are they? I, I kind of want to end off this episode at some point, lads. Could you, uh, hurry this up, please? Conga line of uh, death with Poyer at the back being a slow poke. Come on, hurry up. Head back, retreat, retreat, retreat. Just hide back, stand your ground. If anyone told you, but you can't in fact reach the trees now. Let's see how cold that's gone. Right, well, we're definitely gonna get a new, uh, we're definitely gonna get one of our warriors back after this. Such a small target, hit him. Come on, you can do it. Oh, so close. Dun, 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 dun. I remember this from the trailer back in like late 2000s. Nice shot, I finally got him. Run, run for your lives. Um, what? But this guy's still alive. It, it said the wave ended, but it's the what? Even okay, whatever. You know, uh, just go, just go stand over here, heal up for a bit. Make sure you're kind of out of everyone's way. Oh right, yeah, because that's something. The ca castatory devs, could you fix that, please? It's it's kind of irritating. Let's see how far this. There's no point even modifying that because it's going to reset by the end of it. Oh, well that was a good tree, man. Good tree. And there it goes. Right. Well, right now I'm just going to have to thank you all for watching. My name has been Zedding. I'll leave a like if you're enjoying this series. Subscribe to become a true sir and keep up to date with everything that I post. Uh, share me with your friends as you already seem to have all done. We're very close to 100. We can do it. I believe in us. Maybe one day we'll even have more subscribers than the official Castle Story devs, which would be insane in its own right. Anyways, good day. And I'll see you next time after I quickly just, uh... Yeah, good day. And I'll see you next time.